reaches the surface, it warms the soil, the seas, and the plants. And some of that warmth returns right up into outer space as heat energy. Now, you've probably heard that we call CO2 a greenhouse gas. It's not a perfect nickname, but here's where the expression comes from. When I point this small and happy infrared camera at my hand, my hand glows with infrared light. <laughs> but then watch what happens uh, as I dip it into this glass aquarium. Like, dude, my fingers are like totally cut off. <laughs> it turns out that glass blocks infrared light. It's one of the ways that greenhouses work. The glass lets light through, but prevents a lot of the heat, the infrared, from escaping. Hast thou with him spread out the sky which is strong and as a molten looking glass? Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere does the same thing. But Bill, there is no big glass dome over the Earth. <laughs> no, I know, okay. But there is a big gas dome, a big gas dome. Get it? Glass dome, gas dome, are you with me? Huh? Now, one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. Hast thou with him spread out the sky which is strong and as a molten looking glass? We cannot leave the earth. There's no place to go. There's no place to throw your trash. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe not you, but your kids develop ways to mine our landfills.